Unit 4, Unit 4, Lesson 6 Test. Which of the following is considered a contact force? A. The gravitational pull of a planet. B. Friction between an object and air. C. The force between two magnets. Number 2. Which term describes the tendency of a moving object to continue moving at the same velocity unless an unbalanced force acts upon it? A. Inertia. B. Friction. C. Acceleration. Number 3. An index card is placed across the top of a drinking glass. A coin is then placed on top of the index card. A student quickly flicks the card sideways off the glass. Which of the following explains why the coin falls into the glass rather than moving to the side with the index card? A. Newton's first law of motion. B. Newton's second law of motion. C. Newton's third law of motion. Number 4. Which of the following is an example of a force that acts at a distance? A. An airplane experiences friction as it moves through the air. B. Soccer ball experiences a force as it is kicked across the field. C. A magnet is pushed away when it is brought near the end of another magnet. Number 5. Why is the magnetic force considered to be an action at a distance force? A. Magnets must touch in order to exert a force. B. Magnets do not have to touch each other to experience a force. C. Magnets must rub together to exert a force. Number six, why is the friction force considered to be a contact force? A, friction always acts in the same direction. B, friction is produced when objects slide past one another. C, friction acts in a direction perpendicular to the direction of an object's motion. Number seven, a box of books is on the floor. The following picture shows a push and a pull acting on the box. What is the net force toward the right on the box? A. 50 Newtons B. 100 Newtons C. 2500 Newtons Number 8. Jessica is comparing two different balls. One ball has a mass of 1 kilogram. The other ball has a mass of 2 kilograms. She pushes each with a force of 100 Newtons. How does the acceleration of the two balls compare? A. The 1 kilogram ball accelerates the same as the 2 kilogram ball. B. The 1 kilogram ball accelerates twice as much as the 2 kilogram ball. C. The 1 kilogram ball accelerates 4 times as much as the 2 kilogram ball. Number 9. During a baseball game, a hitter strikes the ball with a bat. When this happens, the ball and the bat exert a force on each other. Why does the ball accelerate away from the bat more than the bat accelerates away from the ball? A. The ball has less mass, so it exerts less force on the bat. B. The bat exerts more force than the ball because the batter is exerting a force on the bat as it hits the ball. C. The ball has less mass, so the equal force on the ball and the bat causes a greater acceleration on the ball. Number 10. The following picture shows forces acting on a box. If the box remains motionless, which statement is true? A. F and F friction have equal strength. B. F has a greater strength than F friction. C. F table and F friction have the same strength, and F has a greater strength than F gravity. Number 11. Imagine a box floating in space. The following picture shows all forces acting on this box. What is the net vertical force on this box? A. 50 newtons upwards. B. 100 newtons upwards. C. 50 newtons downward. Number 12. Consider two objects whose masses are 100 grams and 200 grams. The smaller object strikes the larger object with a force of 500 newtons. According to Newton's third law of motion, what force does the larger object exert on the smaller object? A. 250 newtons B. 500 newtons C. 1000 newtons Number 13. Based on the information below, which team will win this tug of war? A. Team A B. Team B Number 14. What is Newton's second law of motion? A. An object at rest stays at rest and an object at motion stays in motion at the same speed and direction unless it experiences an unbalanced force. B. The acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force applied. C. Whenever one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first. Number 15. What is Newton's first law of motion? A. An object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion at the same speed and direction unless it experiences an unbalanced force. 
B, the acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force applied. C, whenever one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first.